This is KTSM News Channel 9 Weekends. A once convicted murderer who claims he was forced to confess to a crime he didn't commit will go before a jury again. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Tomorrow is the stat of Daniel Vallegas' third murder trial. In an emotional interview, News Channel 9's Sandra Ramirez sits down with Daniel and his family about what they're feeling before the start of the trial that would determine their future. It's a story you'll only see on 9. But we always trip on, on This is a family made up partly of faith and hope. Daniel Viegas is a name many El Pasoans know. Viegas was only 16 years old when he confessed to killing two teenagers in a 1993 drive-by shooting in Northeast El Paso. The highest court in Texas would later rule that confession was coerced and his conviction was overturned. <laughs> KTSM was there as Viegas was released 18 years later. To the surprise of many, District Attorney Jaime Sparza is going after Viegas for a third trial. His first ended in a hung jury. It was after the second that he was convicted. I was hoping it wasn't going to go to a third trial. A few months ago, a judge ruled that Viegas' jailhouse phone calls would not be allowed as evidence in the new trial. This time, there's no confession either. But this time, Viegas has a lot more on the line, a wife and three kids. And I always think to myself, you know, is these going to be the last days I have with them? You know, is it going to be, you know, I'm going to wake up in October and, and in the ninth, and I'm going to be in a jail cell waiting to get shipped out to prison. Viegas met his wife behind bars. He says it was the hardest time of his life. He was growing impatient, ready to give up. The man helping fight for his freedom, John Mimbella, reminded him that he was doing everything he could to help set him free. He was a young man that needed help, and I thank God that he put me in the situation to help. It was Mimbella who reminded Viegas to rely on faith, and then... I get a letter, and it just says faith. The letter was from his now wife, Amanda Faith Rodriguez. I just... I think that... Uh, Nobody expects to find love the way we did. She had seen Viegas' story on the news and wanted to offer her support. We told you Viegas' trial was supposed to start back in July, but the judge postponed it at Viegas' request because the start of the trial was also his wife's due date. She'd had complications during past pregnancies. And two months ago, Emery Hope was born. You know, this is not a chapter in our life, you know, saying this is, you know, a chapter of hope, you know, let's name her hope. Here they are again, facing a third murder trial as a family. What is the worst possible outcome for you? Life sentence. Guilty. I lose him. I lose my family. Viegas, though, is a little more optimistic. A hung jury. So you're not even holding on to the thought that a conviction is a possibility? No, I'm not even holding on to that thought. After all, this is a family made up partly of faith and hope. Sandra Ramirez, News Channel 9. District Attorney Jaime Esparza's office sent us a statement ahead of the trial that reads, We are ready for trial and we, looking, we are looking forward to finally presenting the evidence we have against Mr. Viegas to a jury in the courtroom. KTSM has been given unprecedented access to the trial. We will be streaming it live on KTSM.com. Sandra will also have reports in all of our newscasts. Follow her and KTSM on social media for updates. Well,